Well, we've made it to Tamagami. This is our fourth Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Today is our fourth day of germinate, germinating. <laughs> germinating. It feels like we've been germinating. Uh, this is our fourth day of travel, and I have read almost nothing except for maps. It has been exhausting. Um, We've been driving for about an average of, say, 480 kilometers a day, but I completely did not think about how long it would take to get gas, use the bathroom, stop for lunch, um, just, just that sort of get up in the morning and get going, those kinds of... Um, preparations and and so we have not been on the road as quickly and I just don't think we anticipated how long it would take in the stops so although the miles aren't that tremendous it's been averaging about eight hours a day and uh, today was really hot and um, we have a vent that just keeps putting hot air into the van so that's a struggle <laughs> However, on the bright side, um, once we hit Ontario, I, I started to really enjoy myself. I really enjoyed the stretch between Montreal and Ottawa, although um, apparently at dark it's supposed to be really not that great. But we were going through the daytime and it was just, it was, I, I really enjoyed that section. And then Ottawa today up to, to Miss, where are we, Tamagami, um, it really began to feel like we were actually on a road trip and not just putting in the miles in order to get to Ottawa and so we still have a deadline of getting to Calgary in seven days and that means about 480 kilometers a day but what I didn't anticipate is um, how tired I would be I thought I'd be able to knit during the day and I thought I'd be able to read for you know at least an hour <laughs> I thought we'd be getting into the sights and, you know, just like making a glass of wine and reading a book with a camp chair and, oh my goodness, no. <laughs> maybe, maybe as we get better at this and uh, we start, there's also just a lot of rearranging of trying to figure out what's actually a priority to have close by, like, um, well, obviously your phone and your wallet you want close by, but I didn't really think about my toothbrush, um, the cat needs to have her her treats at certain times, and she's still on Halifax time, so that doesn't coincide with our stops. Um, yeah, just little things like that. It's been really interesting. Oh, and it's come on in. Steve had to go out. It's it's raining a lot. He had to go out and uh, take care of some things, and uh, so he's just coming back. Yay! There he is. It's wet. Yeah, poor guy. Hopefully I don't have to go out in the rain. <laughs> Anyhow, consequently I haven't read anything. I'm supposed to be reading um, a play and uh, I have read sections of it and I can say that it's very confusing. It would be confusing whether I was having so many gaps between the play uh, or the acts. Um, you know, it's a day or two between readings, and um, I remember doing that in high school. You know, they'd assign a certain number of pages that you're supposed to read in a Shakespeare play, and reading it madly the, at lunch hour or something, and then, and then reading it in class again. And I remember by the time I finally got to the end of high school, realizing that if I read the entire play on my own, then when we read it in class, it was much more of an enjoyable experience. So I think what I'm going to do is keep plugging away on it, and then, um, then I will really make try and make an, a day where I can just read the whole thing in uh, two parts. So that's it for me today, and um, I have no idea when this is going to be uploaded because uh, editing opportunities and uploading opportunities so it's a mystery for both of us i hope all your reading dreams and adventures continue to come true and i'll see you next week bye bye for now missy made it it's her first day in the camper van the first hour and a half were pretty rough 
but she seems to have settled down on her pillow and everything was so shipshape when we left Halifax <laughs> and now it's a bit of a mess. Steve's exhausted. It was a bit of a hard drive. I'm not used to driving that many hours and we're not used to driving with that much tension to the road. The uh, winds were super duper high. This is the view from our door. That's the office. That's the pool. And that's the pond. One of two ponds. Our picnic table. We're not going to set up. We've got to get on the road pretty quick tomorrow. And uh, right now there's a lot of buggy boos. And um, I saw a flicker sort of dusting, doing a dust bath in the road. There's part of the rest of the camp. It's like it's really kind of an interesting camp, really. When there's um, places where you can rent season long, and there's people places where you can pull in, and then there's some places that are like that one with the red roof is more permanent. So, and then that's back towards some of the other camp spots. lunchtime at Pembroke Waterfront Park. It's beautiful. It's where a lot of logging stuff happened. I haven't read the signs. And there's Bertie the van. Steve's making coffee. Missy's resting inside. That's it. This is Klaska. Cape, oh, sorry, Klaska Lake, I think. Uh, this is the northernest part of our trip, I believe, in Ontario, anyhow. And there isn't any service at all. Well, I mean, as in um, internet service or phone service. And so um, I have kind of missed which lake we are beside and which mile we're on. We're somewhere around. 2,550 miles traveling since we left Halifax and uh, this is the site where we are having a picnic lunch and a coffee stop and a bathroom stop and it's just beside the highway but they've got a berm behind us, a little hill and so you can't see anything of the trucks going past and not too much of the noise either so it's beautiful here Steve says the water's really cold, you'd freeze, your your hair follicles would fall right off your head. Um, so, in, as far as reading goes, I managed to get three or four chapters done in Daphne du Maurier's The Frenchman. Uh, I would say, well, the first chapter was setting up that we were going into the past, and so I don't know whether that's going to be relevant or not, because do we come... You know, it was just a, a device um, where the per people that we meet in the first chapter will somehow be involved in the back and forthness of, of time travel. I don't think so. I've never heard people mention about time travel in this book. So I'm not entirely sure what its purpose is. Other than It does do a very nice job of setting the scene and, and getting everyone ready for the sort of um, historicity of the story. And then the next chapter, we are meeting Donna, who, if she doesn't treat her horses better, I am not going to 
um, improve my opinion of her. Right now, whoa, she really needs to be kicked in this crinoline. So, um, I will talk to you guys, I don't know when. I hope your days are going well. Thank you, bye. Missy really enjoys it when we stop for lunch or at the campsites. She's really, <laughs> she's become a lot more brave and likes wandering around the vehicle. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Books at the Bottom of the Stairs. I am Laureen and we are in, um, what is it called? Moose Mountain Provincial Park in Saskatchewan. And this is the view from the bottom of our campsite. We got super duper lucky and we've got the only beach in town. <laughs> anyway, so I haven't touched the, tested the water yet, but I, I think Steve said it was pretty cold. And that's the view once you come walking down that little path. Well, on a reading front, honest to Pete, it, it's just been exhausting. So um, I have managed to finish the Frenchman's Creek. Sorry. Sorry about that. I have managed to finish the Frenchman's Creek, and uh, I did skip a few chapters, frankly. I, um, I don't know, I guess maybe been there, done that before. I, I didn't love the protagonist. She was, she kind of moved from one lifestyle where she was having thrills upon thrills, and then the Frenchman, the pirate, becomes another thrill to seek. And I don't know. Oops, I think that was a bit of lightning. I don't know how I felt about that. I just, I didn't feel that she was authentic as a character. I felt that um, really she hadn't learned anything from moving from London to the uh, the house in Navern. I, yeah, I, I just couldn't love her as a character. I loved the secondary character, William. Um, I didn't like the way she treated William and she made some really incredible assumptions and that he seemed to buy into but I think he served as a device for her to sort of um, speak her own mind when speaking to him. Um, I just don't know what was the pivoting point for her in terms of you know, when did she all of a sudden start to feel shame? When did she all of a sudden start to feel like maybe things just weren't so good in her lifestyle choices? And then, um, and now we're going totally straight up into this guy. Um, yeah, I just didn't feel her transition into maturity. And so when she agrees to go, here's a spoiler, to go back to her husband, um, and leave the Frenchman behind, and he's he's saying that he's going to leave her into as, just as a memory. Um, again, I just thought, well, she's just going back into what she once knew, and did she really grow? I don't know. Anyhow, not my favorite book. Uh, however, Saskatchewan is this province that I didn't have anything chosen to start reading. So I'm going to get a little bit ahead of Alberta, and I'm going to read the one that I got for my sister for her birthday. I won't say the title right now until after I see her. Um, she is about a week away. We are so close, so close, and not quite near Calgary. Moose Jaw is sort of the next big spot. And um, there aren't any camping grounds to speak of between uh, Moose Jaw and Swift Current. And Steve doesn't like the idea of a hotel and I don't like the idea of going off the highway for more than about 10 or 15 minutes because if you've got to spend 40 minutes in a car that's over, well, it's not overheating, it just doesn't have any air conditioning. I'd rather be making forward progress instead of upward progress. So we will probably have a little discussion tonight. That's it for me right now. I hope all your reading dreams and adventures continue to come true and that there are some crazy clouds in your life. Bye for now.